What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to go over the latest Destiny 2 trailer and damn there's some great things to check out but before we go any further guys if you want to be in with a chance of grabbing one of my Rockstar Destiny 2 gear codes simply drop a like and leave a comment winners will be picked and contacted via YouTube direct message Okay, so this trailer, a Destiny 2 PvP trailer, some awesome looking new weapons and armors to take a look at. Now the trailer did drop a while back, but you guys know me, I like to dissect these trailers, go through them frame by frame to cover absolutely everything and that's what I've done. Okay, so first up we see the showcase of some interesting things here, armor and weapon wise. But what grabbed my attention first was that Titan's shoulder. It kind of looks like a net over his shoulder plate. Looks absolutely crazy. In the same scene we see a few other quite interesting things. First up we see this dead orbit auto rifle. On the end being held by a warlock in that vanguard gear. Next to him we have a titan in the best vendor gear, future warcoat. Next to him we see a hunter rocking new monarchy gear, holding again a new monarchy weapon. But the best thing about this shot is the armor the warlock closest to us seems to be wearing. That chest piece especially, it looks like a pearlescent color, absolutely loving that. Also the hand cannon being wielded is interesting, but we do see that later on in the video. Next up we see this hunter using this rocket launcher, very reminiscent to the trials launcher available now in Destiny 1. Also I am loving that blade attached to that hunter's elbow too, looking great. Next up we see this titan doing a super attack with a sword of some kind. Seeing goes by though very quickly so it's hard to make out the sword being used here. What's just as interesting is the launch of the garden who gets splattered is holding. Definitely a serious launcher as you can see by that epic bright logo on the side. Next up we have this titan in this awesome green dead orbit armor. Also loving that headpiece on that helmet too. The sniper being wielded here though is super interesting. I think we've seen it before but not in this color. It looks kind of chrome to me. But what do you think? Next up we see footage of the dubious volley. Now as monstrous as this thing looks in PvP as we see it destroys, most people miss the point of this weapon seems to be firing void. When we first saw this it was definitely shooting arc. Also the design of this weapon has changed too. Is that just an ornament uh, being applied here or is it something else? It kind of looks seaverfied if you look closely. Now we know weapon mods do such changes as elemental damage, but does this confirm that weapon mods can be applied to your exotics too? I guess so. Next up we have this cheeky little gold sidearm. Now we see quite a few gold themed weapons and armors throughout this trailer and this is just the start of them. Next up we get another glimpse of that portal gun. Now my first instinct when seeing this way back was it was some sort of energy burst weapon. This footage kind of confirms that also notice the game mode here being played is supremacy seen by the crests that have dropped next up we have this awesome looking hand cannon kind of looks a red and goldy color now i ain't going to jump to conclusions and start calling everything exotic but a lot of weapons here are really unique in design but hey the game's new we'd expect some great and new looking weapons across all rarities doesn't mean they're all exotic we then see another awesome looking hand cannon in action on screen now Next up we have this incredible looking shotgun. I do believe this was confirmed to be an exotic, but it looks absolutely great. Loving the electricity flying off the side and how it just absolutely disintegrates the opponent. Next up we see this hunter mid shade step. The armor here is sparkling with gold. Also the weapon on his back looks goldish too. We also see this kind of lighting effect to the chest and belt pieces. Next up we have something really interesting and kind of not what we know about within Destiny 2's PvP. Now we know they mentioned they've taken our feedback off the beta and done changes to the game. The changes I've noticed from this trailer though are kind of crazy. I've seen a much increased recharge on your abilities and super which I'll get to in a few minutes. But also the time to kill is insanely faster and there's a few instances we will get to which proves this. But before we go into that, check out this hacker sniper seen on screen now. Yes, it's beautiful rocking that gold, but this thing one hits to the body. Yes, you heard that right. It does 315 damage as a body shot. I mean, what is this? Also notice it has 12 bullets in its magazine too. That is just crazy. Also the game mode here I believe is Clash as well as you can also see three heavy ammo packs on the screen at the same time. But before we go any further talking about the time to kill within this game, we have to remember this footage could be an older build than what we experienced with the beta. I don't think it is but that could be the case. 
Now another thing which is a surprise, we see a sentinel using their melee ability shoulder charge attack, not in his super, and one hitting a fellow guardian within PvP. We see it does 180 damage and a further 40, which could be an area of effect damage number, but even so, 180 is pretty powerful. We then see a hunter landing a body shot with this epic looking 8 shooter pistol. Thing is, this does 94 to the body, allowing him to finish off his opponent with one melee attack, one body shot and one melee attack, that's definitely a faster time to kill. Now onto the abilities and superchargers. Seen by this snippet and screenshot, here we see a PvP game on countdown. They are halfway through the game, seen by the timer, but notice he has his supercharge ready. If this is the case, I would think we would be able to get around two supers per game, which makes sense since Bungie said they are addressing the issue of barely scraping one super per game, which is ridiculous. So yes, moving on from PvP and abilities, but before we do, what do you think about the changes that have seemed to have been made? Do you think a faster time to kill was needed? Two plus supers per game? Is that a good thing? Let me know down below. Next up we see a warlock rocking that oh so sexy exotic chest piece which was confirmed a while back. Absolutely loving the design of this thing. Also notice that purse on his hip. Awesome. We also see the return of the Starfire Protocol. Although not confirmed, the chest piece seen here is no doubt the Starfire. Weird, I didn't think Bungie would bring back exotics from Destiny 1, but this is definitely the Starfire Protocol. If it ain't, it's a reskin, it's, there's no two which ways about it. It's exactly the same. We also get another look at the cold heart in action. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing how this weapon impacts the game and this weapon type. Now to end the video, we have something which if you blinked, you would have missed. And that is this helmet this Guardian seems to have on. It has crazy horns. Now we've seen the ramp in Destiny. We've seen the stag in Destiny. But these horns are shaped differently. They're more like a male impala. Looking seriously interesting. And if anything from this video could be exotic, I think this helmet could be that. And on that note, people, I'm ending the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you spotted anything I've missed, let me know down below. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I will see you on that next one.